Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another video here on the channel and I am incredibly excited today to finally be able to share something with you which we have been working on for a long, long time. When Microsoft Flight Simulator first came out, we were on the lookout for a takeoff performance calculator, particularly for the Airbus A320neo. Now, we had one online which sadly disappeared a few months back now, uh, which was great. It gave us our flex temp, it gave us the V-speeds, etc. But it was not actually a Airbus A320neo calculator. It was based upon the older engines, which was fine for a simulator, but if you're really craving reality then we needed something a little bit more realistic for the Neo. To make matters worse this calculator disappeared a few months ago and so we've not really had anything that replaced it quite so well. Several others have been made available but they don't have the automatic integration of things like live weather, they don't have the runway length data and runways available, everything has to be inputted manually and what we wanted to try and bring you was something that worked exactly the same as the software that real world pilots use. Airbus pilots in the real world have something called FlySmart. Now, this is no great secret. You can go ahead and Google this and see images of it. And this runs on Apple's iOS software. So most airline pilots nowadays have tablets. And there are several major benefits to this rather than using the old paper runway calculation charts that aircraft used to carry. Before the software calculation apps were made available by airline manufacturers, every aircraft used to have a stack of folders and contained within these folders were the runway takeoff calculation charts for every airport and every runway at the airports that these aircraft may potentially fly to. And each chart represented different conditions, things like with packs on, with packs on, off, anti-eyes on versus anti-eyes off and so forth. But now the pilots have the advantage of modern technology so no more heavy paper charts, everything is contained within an app on their fly pads. And of course this has numerous benefits. One, it's much easier to use and two, it saves a heck of a lot of weight. All of those airports and all of those runways with all of those different conditions meant that that was a lot of paper, a lot of weight, which now airlines have been very happy and glad to be able to get rid of. So then the challenge was set. Could we possibly have something very similar to the FlySmart program that the real world Airbus pilots use here in Microsoft Flight Simulator? Well, I'm very happy to say that the answer after a lot of work is yes. Coming soon will be this new Airbus A320 takeoff performance calculator. This has been modelled based upon the FlySmart program by Airbus that the real world pilots use. And if you can see these both side by side, you can see how close they resemble each other. Lots of work has gone into making this as close to its real world counterpart as possible. But of course, this is only going to be applied for flight simulator use only and not to be used for real world flight planning. Now the app is quite advanced, but it is still in its testing phase at the moment, so not currently yet available. Please stay tuned to the channel for uh, more information on its release. But it does already work really, really well, and in a moment I'm going to give you some demonstrations on that. It is the kind of app which we are going to be constantly updating with data to try and fine tune it and get it as close to real world as possible. One of the biggest benefits this app has is its link to an online database. So internet connectivity will be required in order to use this takeoff performance calculator. It will be released on PC and it will also be released on Android to begin with, with the potential for iOS maybe a little bit later on 
down the line but yes internet uh, connection is definitely going to be required as it automatically links to the database which contains information such as all of the airports in the world their different runways available it will then know the length of the runway you are selecting and you can automatically download the meta again this is why internet connectivity is essential let's go and have a demonstration then and see how uh, how the app is currently working for us so here is our Airbus A320neo performance calculator and as you can see it is laid out almost exactly like its real world counterpart. What I'm going to do is we're going to show you a couple of examples of how it all works uh, so you can see the current stage that, uh, that this is in. Let's go ahead and pop in an airport code, so one that you'll have seen me depart from in live streams quite, uh, quite regularly, the Echo Golf. Charlie Charlie which is of course Manchester Airport in uh, in the UK uh, once we click OK then it will connect to the server bring up Manchester Airport and automatically then you have a runway selection open we've got uh, the four runways available to us at Manchester and on selecting these the app automatically knows its runway length so the most common one in use at Manchester due to the prevailing winds is runway 23 right let's go ahead and select that and as you can see over here on the right hand side we've got the slope is automatically calculated telling us as well that uh, in the direction we're heading it's downhill let's go ahead then and get the current live meta again the internet connection is required for this because it's so uh, all pulled off the uh, the internet from the servers so we'll get the meta and here we are currently uh, as this video has been filmed Q&H is uh, 1033 air temperature is 4 and the wind is 210 at 3 knots obviously it doesn't matter what the uh, the clouds and, uh, and things are doing so that information is not shown just the information pertinent to the actual takeoff performance calculations uh, in effect such as wind temperature and the uh, the Q&H of course real world pilots then have to listen to ATIS to work out if the uh, the runway condition is uh, wet or dry here I'm just going to leave it to uh, set to dry for this example anti-ice then again the uh, the pilots will just be able to get the information from ATIS and of course if it's uh, if it's daylight look outside they can see the uh, the clouds and things um, so we'll leave that as off for uh, for the moment we then have to enter the takeoff weight this is usually got off your operational flight plan and of course from the init B page after you've done all your fuel calculations uh, your takeoff weight will be shown so I'm just gonna pop in a yeah, relatively light takeoff weight let's just go with 60 tons and we can do that uh, to a decimal place as well giving us a little bit more flexibility over the uh, weight that we can enter take off C of G again from your uh, in it uh, in it B page and fuel prediction page let's uh, just pop in a standard of 25 we are of course wanted to use a flex we can use toga as well if required but flex and config well there as you would expect config 1 2 and 3 let's leave config 1 in for uh, for now packs are usually off on the SOPs I uh, use however many airlines keep these on for takeoff so you've got an option there as well and then we are going to calculate at the moment as we're still developing the app there are a couple of minor bugs in place number one at the moment is you can see calculate is grayed out for some reason we need to just reselect the departure runway after uh, filling all these fields in so let's hit calculate and then you'll see these fields bring in the information once it's been calculated so give that a second there it is so for config one flex is currently 69 we've got our v speeds 136 136 138 uh, limitations to take off weight engine out information so that's the engine out uh, altitude which 1000 249 feet and green dot is calculated to be 205 knots now as you can see there are still things here which are going to be added as the uh, the app progresses but what we have which is really neat again this is what we get in the real world um, in the real world fly smart is that you have the engine out procedures shown down here so the engine out procedure there is uh, a nice standard engine out procedure 1800 feet right turn to the Mersey holding point and the Mersey hold inbound is 61 degrees and the hold 
comprises of right turns. So it's really neat that we've got this shown just as we would have in, uh, in the real world. Now, at the moment, not every airport has an engine out procedure put in, but we do have all the engine out procedures and things for all the main European airports. It's just going to take us a while to actually get those uplinked onto the server. So that's going to happen over time. Uh, for instance, if I just go ahead and select uh, perhaps uh, Milan Malpensa, I will probably see, let's just depart 3, 5 left and leave all this the same, calculate that. There we go, engine out procedure is coming soon because we've not got that information onto the server just yet. But for all the European airports, that will be coming. For airports outside of Europe, we're having to be a little bit creative in how this is done. So many airlines with regards to their engine out procedures and thrust reduction acceleration altitudes use a standard of 1000 feet above the airfield elevation uh, this can also be increased to 1500 feet depending on the airline SOP. so an option for that will be coming again in the future if your airline that you're flying for uses 1000 feet above the aerodrome level or 1500 feet you will be able to uh, check that out many of the major european airports at the moment do have them for instance if if we have a look at London Heathrow just here uh, for runway 27. What are they departing from at the moment? I'm just looking in the background. They're departing runway 27 left. So let's go ahead and uh, select that, get a meta and calculate this we should see that is indeed real-world data. And the fact we know that that has been uh, interpolated into the app at the moment is because we have the engine out procedure. Any airfields which have the engine out procedure showing at the moment are the ones which are using live real-world data. All the others are working upon a thousand feet above the general aerodrome level. So let's delve a little bit further into how well the app gives us realistic figures for our aircraft and takeoff. I'm going to leave this at runway 27 left for Heathrow and these are all the V speeds, characteristic speeds that we have just calculated. So what happens then if I increase the takeoff weight? Let's increase that to 75 tons. So we should expect to see all of these change and green dot of course should increase so let me now hit calculate there we go so you can see the difference between those flex temps changed as well what if then we go and select a config 2 takeoff again all of these should retrospectively change here we go there we go so slightly lower v speeds flex again has changed and let's go with config 3 and there we are. The V speeds again change accordingly. Strangely enough, and you may think it weird, that Config 3 has higher V speeds than Config 1. This is indeed true for, uh, for most cases, so don't be alarmed by that. It's very easy to think that the, uh, the higher the Config, the lower the V speeds should, uh, should be. Uh, but that's not, uh, that's not the case, so the app is in fact giving us correct information there. So next, let's put it to the test and try doing a performance calculation for a takeoff that really should not be uh, be possible. So if we choose somewhere with a really short runway, something like um, Gibraltar, let's go ahead and select that, uh, runway 09, there we are, quickly get the meta, and I'm going to add in a takeoff weight here of 75 tons, so that's obviously quite heavy, and I'm going to select config 1. It tells you the runway length as well just here. Something else that the app does whenever you're selecting a, uh, a runway, it automatically has the runway length in its database. So let's go and calculate this and I should not actually be able to get a takeoff performance calculation for this because we would be too heavy for such a short runway. So let's hit calculate and see what happens. There we go. So basically everything there is, uh, it's, it's just telling us it's, it's not possible. That is when we start looking through the figures to see how could we possibly do this departure. The next step would be to increase the config. So if we go config 2, that's not possible either. And config 3, so let's see what happens there. 
So there we go. So it has actually given us a, uh, a config and some V speeds for this. Now, in the real world, this particular takeoff still probably wouldn't be permitted because you would have what's called a regulated takeoff weight for uh, for a runway such as Gibraltar. Uh, I'm not sure whether 75 would be uh, would be 75 tons would be too heavy for that. But it's nice to see that even the, the this app tells us at the, at the moment that we cannot take off in config 1 and uh, and config 2. So now the question that you're all probably wondering is how can I get my hands on this calculator? Well at the moment as I said right at the start of the video this is still a work in progress even though it appears in its current state to be doing quite a lot of good stuff and that is true but it is still being tested and the top tier channel members and the middle tier channel members of the EasyJet SimPilot channel then you will have access to this in its current format and testing stages prior to its official release so head on over to the discord server in the VIP room there where you'll be able to access the download link now I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am and actually I'm after a little bit of help because we actually need a name for this app so if anyone's got a, uh, a good idea as to a name for this app when it gets released on both PC and Android then uh, leave a comment down below with some uh, with some name suggestions other thing I'd love to hear from you is what other features would you like incorporating into this app it may not be there and available at the time of its release but this is going to be an ongoing project that gets better and better as we continue to develop it into into the future so there we are guys i hope you are as excited about this project as i am and if you do have any comments or questions then please do leave them down below and i'll come back and answer those as soon as i can i look forward to bringing you more information on this and using it in our live stream so please do hit that subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss out on any further information of course please do also like the video and help us reach more people in the microsoft flight simulator community i look Look forward to seeing you in the next video very soon thank you so much for watching bye bye for now